Okay, so after my little little uh, adventure with little nightmares, I want to calm down a bit. Uh, okay, accept, fine. Okay, blah, 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 welcome to Unravel, game made by Coldwood. The last two and a half years, we poured our love into this game, and we thrilled to finally get to share it with you. Games can be powerful things, and they give even a small studio like ours a chance to speak with the entire world as an audience. So with that in mind, we figured we could speak from the heart. That's how Unravel came to be. And that's why it deals with topics like love, longing, and mending broken bonds. It is in your hands now. Finally. Make of it what you will. Where it really off oh, Well, that was, uh, that was actually kind of cool. I, I forgot about the whole thing. This is Unravel. It's kind of like, um, well, it's kind of like, uh, Little Nightmares in a sense where it's like a puzzle platformer. Um, let me just turn this up a little bit. No, hold on. I should have figured this out before I started. There. But yeah, it's, um, hold on. saying it's kind of like little nightmares in the sense of it's like a puzzle platformer it's not scary though that's like the one thing i like about it it's not a it's not suspenseful or, well kind of but it doesn't it's the aim is not to make you uncomfortable by any any sense of the word uh this game is it's still all right this game is pretty good i like it you're running around a little little yarn dude um yeah uh, you'll, you'll see why why I kind of like it here in a second. Um, as far as story goes, there really is no like context as far as like a narrative. You just kind of go through picking up on um, subtle little details within the levels and stuff like that, which I still don't understand. Um, all all that really makes me think of is like um, I don't know, like like being a kid, you know. Like when when you would go play outside, uh, well, in in my instance, it would it'd be me and my brother, and my sister, and then we were our house was like surrounded by trees, and when we, we didn't feel like playing video games or watching TV or whatever, we would go play outside and like I don't I don't know I don't know how many kids did this, but they would find like sticks that looked like guns and stuff or weapons, but <laughs> it's weird because this is kind of what it reminds me of going back to that that childlike state of mind just like the wonder of you know the wonder of like playing in the woods and just making up things as as you go throughout your little journey that you make up as far as you know playing pretend this is this is what kind of feels like and it's it's kind of nice and yeah this is this the the feeling that it invokes for me. Now, as far as this playthrough goes, you can kind of see like I'm gonna I'm gonna like I, I figured out all the puzzles, so it's 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 more of like a walkthrough than a playthrough, but it could be both in a sense. But I like I like the mechanics of this whole thing. You got a little lasso you can grab onto things with. This is what I mean, like the little, the little, uh, I, I guess they're memories or something, and you go and just collect it throughout the levels. But yeah, I'm like, I don't understand it, but it's really nice so either way. I don't, I don't know if I want to collect all the little collectibles or not. I'm not sure. What's over here? Why is it zooming in? But yeah, no, I, was, uh, I, I got done playing Little Nightmares, and I'm thinking, should I just go straight into the sequel? It's like, eh, I don't really feel like it. Eh? Don't need to do 
do that. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. This. I, I'm. I'm really getting to these kind of. These kind of like, little big planet esque puzzle platformer games. And I don't know if I'll ever do Little Big Planet because I can't record it. As far as you know, on my my own recording device because it's on the PS3. And for some reason, the Elgato doesn't like the PS3. I don't know why. But, I'm just kind of, oh. Alright. But yeah, I, I, I'll try to find a way to wait, make it work, but until then, it's just going to have to wait. But, yeah, this is kind of, this is kind of like that. But a little less elaborate. It's just, it's, it's more of a, it's less of a, like a, a puzzle and more of an experience. Kind of, kind of cinematic, I want to say, but kind of, kind of not. Yeah, this is this is really nice. Whoa! So let's. Uh, I already, like I said, I already know what to do as far as all these puzzles go. But playing through this time, I'm playing through this the first time. It um. It got a little frustrating at some points, but not so bad to where it was like rage quitty. It was the only thing that kind of like kept me going about it was uh, the tone, the, just the tone of everything. Like I said, it's it's pretty good. The music, the atmosphere, the graphics, and the gameplay all kind of kind of go into each other. Really good. I like it. Uh, there's a sequel. I have it. I don't know if I'll ever. I'll, I'll, I don't know if I'll get into it. Um, right away, maybe not. Maybe I'll alternate from this and Little Nightmares, just to kind of keep the balance. But yeah, I, I I like the I like both of these games as as much as the other. Although <laughs> Little Nightmares too. I don't know. There's a part in that game where I just like. And I, I don't know how many times or, or how how many people felt the same way, but I I had to quit at some point, and, and I'm sure when I start playing it, you'll kind of see what I mean. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, I forgot. Okay, yeah, but uh, just just to kind of like take a break from being scared <laughs> of things, I, I I wanted to play this. Just kind of calm my nerves, you know. But yeah, this this game's pretty good. If you haven't, it, I'm sure people, a lot of people have heard about it. And there's that famous, um, I, th I don't know if it was E3 or what, but it was it was pretty famous for like the dude giving a, a press conference about it, and he was just so super nervous, and not not talking shit on the dude. I understand because he he's not a public speaker. He, he's just like a development, he, he leads a development team, and he was so super nervous about giving this speech about this game that you could visibly see his hands shaking while he was talking, but it was so, to me it was like endearing. When I saw it, I'm like, this kind of what it makes me play the game a little more. And then, I fucking forgot about it for years, until I, uh... I was looking for games to buy on my Xbox One, and this, this is one of this is this came in like a pack. I was like, "Oh, that's kind of cool." I'll buy the 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 pack of games, so it's a cheaper. It's just so I have something to play, and I'm like pleasantly surprised, man. I gotta say, it's it's pretty good. I like it, and I think a lot of my playthrough of this is just gonna be fucking singing its praises, but. I mean, like, look at this shit. How could you not sing its praises? It's 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 essentially an indie game. I mean, it is like I think it's published by EA, but it's developed by this this small team of people with like such tender love and care in every aspect of like development, as far as I I know. But you could tell by the quality of the graphics and the music and the the color and just the the sound of like the birds and like him stepping in the like the mossy rock covered like it's the little details like that 
and like I said, a lot of singing is praises. And l later levels could be getting get a little more, uh, get a little intense, but oh shit, get a little intense, but not to the point where it's like uncomfortable. You know, it just kind of makes you like, it makes you think about things in general, about like your experiences as a as, like personally in your life. Because I have, I've, it, it made me feel like, like things, you know, not necessarily sadness. It's just kind of like made me reflect on like my my experiences as far as you know life in general goes. And oh shit, I'm fucking oh, oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. No, 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 that way. Okay, but yeah, it's um, it it makes you really like reflect on things that has happened or might happen or. You know, but like I said, not to the point where it makes you feel scared, in my opinion. And the second one kind of does that too. But the second one is a co-op game, and yeah, that was a that was a different experience altogether, which I don't mind. Oh, see, like massive yet subtle tonal shift. Not bad, not bad. But like I said, I I, 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 I plow through the puzzles right now because I, I have solved all of these, not like record time, but to the point where I remember everything. Especially the fucking stick puzzle with the puddle and everything. You'll, you'll see when I, when I fucking get to it. I think I'm gonna do like one level per episode. But yeah, it, I think it's pretty good. I can't, I can't, like, not sing its praises enough. But if you're curious about trying this game, I say do it, because, um... Oh. Oh, no! See, that's what I mean, like, the little, the little details. And it's just like a point A, point B kind of, kind of game, but... It's, it feels like a lot more than that. Pretty, pretty good stuff, man. Pretty good stuff. But yeah, that was the first level. Like, like I said, pretty calming, not very, not very intense. Just kind of moments of like, whoa, you know? Missing piece. And like I said, I don't understand the, the narrative aspect of it. Like, it, to me, it, it seems like somebody reminiscing you know i think it's like the old lady's memories or something i i'm not sure uh but yeah that was that was uh unravel one i guess um i'm gonna be recording this i'm gonna do a, a full run through of the this the, the story mode i'm not gonna 100 percent it no from no <laughs> i'm not that guy all right but you want to see more? I will be playing this and uh, have little nightmares on here and all this other crap that I've been playing. But yeah, I will see you in whatever video you decide to click on next.